Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, we are back with some WWE 2K20 My Career. Now, we last left off at this tag team match. It's Red and Trey, of course. Um, taking on Becky Lynch and Finn Balor. Um, now, this match came about where Becky Lynch decides to challenge Red for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So, um, in order to get that happening, we now have to have this tag team match. I mean, the match is already happening. And it's a it's a weird kind of match that I'm going to explain in a minute as well. Um, now, if we win, we have home field advantage. Home field advantage for our match. Our match is a five, well, I believe what's called, I believe it's a five team elimination match something like that it, it, it's a five team elimination match something like that where there'll be five single matches and the team that has the most wins the woman will be the smackdown women's champion basically put it like that so uh that's intriguing that's interesting this should be this should be good um, but we're about to get into the tag team match. Without further ado, let's waste no more time. Let's get into it. Like we've never seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field God advantage damn. for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Because the best of five series. With the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM. So I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. They've been rivals with Brooklyn since they were teenagers. Brooklyn Von Braun is an accomplished professional. Becky. I'd be very surprised if she let an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general. Manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Thank you, this has gave me a lot of work, bro. What the hell? Stop it, ouch. So, in other words, I just got beat Becky Lynch up crazy. Tough spot for her here, guys. It's like she doesn't even know where she is. Look out. Something that was important to Becky Lynch after she made history as the first ever SmackDown Live Women's Champion was to establish herself as a fighting champion. Dragon screw. You got that right, Michael. The Irish Glass Kicker accepted all challenges that came her way. Becky was determined to give the championship the prestige it so rightfully deserved. It's starting to come together in a big way. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Oh, yes, she is. Bridge. That look bad. And the kick hit by Becky Lynch. Gonna take more than that to take down the Irish last kicker, folks. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh. Connected on that. To expand on Byron's point about Becky Lynch's mentality as the inaugural SmackDown Live Women's Champion, just take a look at the superstars who Lynch defeated to retain the title. Yeah, whether it's deserved or not, first champions are always celebrated in the history books. Oh, sit down, Powerball. The accolades like she received as the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Very unique vibe for this mixed tag team match, that's for sure. It's not your traditional tag team encounter. Six. Finn Balor is mesmerizing. When the Irishman pops the collar on his black leather jacket, the world is preparing to witness an enigma like no other in sports entertainment. That's right, Becky Lynch had mad moment. How the hell she got her finisher already? <laughs> oh, she might have received it. That's fine. Really nice. Changes her fortune there. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. And off the tag. Oh, damn. Oh, what a boot to the face! 
Boy, I got an immovable object, bro. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. This drop kick me in like, bro. Kick to the midsection. Looking for the straight jacket. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. Boom, what impact! Uh, this is a big move. risk. Will it pay off? From the top! It will. If Becky gets the tag, once she gets the tag, then I might be good. That means I can't do much as. Oh man, check out this. It's me. Oh. What a press. I can beat him. I can, I can beat Finn Balor down, but that's all I really can do. Steam. See how long he can sustain it. Oh, as you see, I'm giving Finn Balor this work. Now, it's up to you if you want to tag out. I'm perfectly fine if you want to do that, my man. Well scouted reversal there. And Ooh. now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Ben, An Ben, impressive Ben. Series of moves. Relax Looks yourself. like nobody's budging, Cole. Ben. Gets out of the way. And fast. Damn, I missed my close on again. Wow, what a sequence. Incredible striking combination. Great evasion. Incredible standing corkscrew moonsault. Wow. Come on, Finn. I'm tired. I'm bored already. Reverses. Uh oh. We Guess we don't want to learn. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. I'm stupid. I can just tag him. In comes Becky Lynch. Becky. I can just. Becky Lynch. Off into the pin. Byron, help me make sense of this decision. Dude, why does that happen, bro? That's so weird. Nice kick. Great elevation. No, get. She gotta be going, man. Oh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. This match is wearing her down. The better part of Balor. She gotta be the one. The, the man gotta be the one, right? Nice right hand. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. What? The, no, go up. Oh, what? Oh, come on, every time, son. God, what match was it? It's facing Natalia, the first, the first match, bro. What happened? Uh-oh. 
Heavy duty right hand. I'm glad he ain't counting them punches them punches. It's really Becky. Come on. Hey, right, just, just die already. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. And again, she counted that. Yet another count. Oh my god. She's not done yet. Too soon. I I pre I'm glad. Next snap. Hammer water off. The first DDT. Interesting. Oh, backy, 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 backy. Come on, just die already, man. No, another reversal. Neither one of them is willing to give an inch here. Not again. One of these competitors is exactly going to gain the upper hand. Heavy duty right hand. Thank you. Here are your winners. And there's your winner. Be a pinfall. You never know what you're going to get when you pair up a mixed tag team. But I must say, these two worked very well together. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. Got that out the way. Damn, Becky. Jeez. Trying to beat Becky was kind of hard. I don't understand, boy. But we got it done, though, so we good. Oh, residents of New Day City! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your best of five series host and feel the power! Welcome to a very special New Day themed event where Red's SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four-year-old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. This arena loud and uh, play now, that'd be cool. Welcome everyone to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp. It's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? What did yeah, you just say? Yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally, or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kobe. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. So am I playing as Kofi? Am I playing as the whole all New Day? Or... Or are these just going to be cutscenes, and then you're just going to, you know, divide them up like that? Because that's the case. Cool. You know, that's fine. But when they when this match was announced, I wasn't sure if I was playing this New Day 2. Because if I am, then it's fine. You know, I don't care. But, you know. <laughs> Curious how this is going to work. Oh, I am playing this Kofi. All right. 
Cubs will All right. keep an important 1 0 advantage in the best of five series. Yeah, these series are all about establishing Dang, this is going to be long, but sheesh. On the other team and make them feel like their backs are up against the wall. You both might be putting a little God, too much. Damn, that ground, that green is bright as hell. Back. If a team takes a 2 0 lead, then we'll talk. Damn, they want you to play every aspect of the game. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna try to end these as early as I can. Saw what he had in mind there. But these are gonna go on for long. If I'm playing as all three as well. All right. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna end these as fast. In 2017, with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion. Which I was lucky enough to call in person, and in that tournament, this man Pete Dunn emerged as the next can't miss superstar. On the mark, the damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh, look at this! Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, jeez! Oh, Take all the wind out of you. You see, I'm trying to go as fast as possible. I'm trying to make sure I can end the peak done early. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Oh, no luck against done there. Too quick. Uh, do you do you stop the SOS as one of your friendships? Yes, you do. All right. Wait, was it R2? All right. I agree with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. Powerful contact by Kingston. I might not be able to hit him. If I hit the SOS, I might, able, I might not be able to finish him like that. But if I, I'm not the SOS, I'm sorry, the Trouble in Paradise. And it's Pete Dunne answering back. Wow, what a sequence. Slam. He's struggling a bit. If here. I can't, I at least need to know. Try and build up for the boom drop. With a 180, Kofi Kingston, the reversal. Boom, nice. All right, I got it. All right, we set. Uh, that's that's ground, right? Is that the that, is that the only thing you have for your sanctuary? Oh, yeah, the monkey flip cross body. All right, I might. Let me see if I can match that. I probably won't be able to, but I'm gonna try. Anyway. In a bad way here, guys. Let's see. Here's the monkey flip. I got the cover. He's all over the place. Kobe Kingston is in position. Kobe with the setup. SOS. Now's the time to capitalize. There may be no coming back. And standing before you, your winner, folks, Kobe Kingston. Here is your winner, Kobe Kingston. Match number one. That took about five minutes. In that win here tonight. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne always has more than one plan, but in the end, none of them work tonight. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. I rise, this match, I just rise, this match is on SmackDown. Is it on SmackDown? Alright, match number two. No entrances, right? Oh, we got a break. Ooh. Ugh. Damn, we got a break. Um. Let's see, I got a messages for Trey, but I got some messages for Red. Wait, this is this a new phone? Oh, we upgraded to new phones! Uh, Lita was good. 
I uh, can't believe you have to defend your championship like this. Hope your team shows up tonight. I know you will. Okay. I made some controversial decisions as GM, but never anything like this. Good luck. You just lost your job. You have nothing to say to me. Damn, do I take it? Nah. Ah, damn. You know, no. I'm gonna keep going. Biggie. I'll do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> it's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house? Come on, whose house? <laughs> our house. Whose house? <laughs> Our house! Yeah, much better. Much better. Alright, what the hell do you want? You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on to my championship. That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you in this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. That's right, I said SmackDown. Happy? I don't give a damn what you say. Big E, let's go. I say smack down, happy. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Oh, WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power! Big E in the house. The following contest. All right, that interest hasn't changed. I'm taking on Sheamus. Has his interest changed? Probably hasn't. I need to know. Come on. Let's go. As match two of the series gets underway, I don't want to lose perspective on just how big this situation is. Yeah, Sheamus Yellow House. All right, cool. So this actually might go faster. essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Von Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm going to have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in. Oh. But my initial reaction uh. is... This isn't exactly fair for the champion, Red. It's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe, and that's exactly what this accomplishes. Oh. Haymaker connects. Oh, give it to him one more time. Oh, the power of Big E. Guys, Big E's brand of brute strength is on another level. The muscle of the New Day is also always ready to show oh, its power. Ooh. And with a little swivel action on the side. And Big E exploiting the opening. Shame is looking a little bit uneasy here. My God, look at the power. Big E is just putting his... Nice effort. And here's hoping he can I messed that all up. I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. That's all good. Just do that. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Road kick. This could be it. He's got my head kicked off. Sheamus gets the win. More importantly, the series is now tied up at a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her savages, but now it's a whole new series. Well, at least I'm not playing every 
every match to its entirety. So I'm happy about that. So I'm assuming Xavier Woods might lose to whoever the hell they're going to have Xavier facing. <laughs> and then I guess Trey's going to win his match. And then I'm going to play the whole... I'm about to play Becky Lynch and... um. Becky Lynch and me entirely. That's what I'm guessing right now. Yep, no, Xavier Woods. Wait, oh wait, I got a match again. I got a, ma I got a message. Another one. Damn, I got another message. You should stop looking at your phone, concentrating on the series. Also, I'm, fire I'm finding you $1,000 for Texas during the event. I love being GM. <laughs> You sent me a message. All right. Okay. You didn't hear this from me, but Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. No, she doesn't need to worry, because after my match against Finn, okay, we'll be one it. win away from taking the series. Then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know, how it's usually done. That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. What do you think? <laughs> you see his face as he was saying it. Uh, I uh, think I heard my music. Uh, gotta run. <laughs> and running, I'm about to. Let's go. All right, so okay, so uh, X is facing Finn. That means I'm facing Drew McIntyre. Oh, WWE Universe! Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby! Yeah, I ain't trying to hear the whole thing. Come on, Finn, let's go. This is the time I actually could have entered the door. Get Finn the yellow house. Whoa! Was that a Hadouken? <laughs> Hold on, I didn't hit him again. Wait, wait. Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's savages take over. Even though the hell? I... matches Red and Trey barely know the new day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Trey are tight, and certainly the New Day have been teaming nope. for a very long time. But I've never been able to count The kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a few weeks. He's hurting now. If he doesn't get out of that corner, he's going to be hurting even worse. Two, two. Oh, tornado DDT. DDT. Viking DDT. Devastating elbow. Finn Balor, the first ever universal champion. They call him the extraordinary man who can do extraordinary things. He ordinary, extraordinary. What are you uh -oh. even talking look about, Cole? Yes, look, Finn Balor was the first universal champion, but this is a what have you done for me lately industry. Oh, oh man. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Whoa. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Looks like Xavier Wood is starting to turn it up. He's a guy that can find that extra gear when he wants to. Got him on strike. And I just hit that man with something. I just hit that man with something serious. As Intercontinental Champion and everything else he's accomplished and continues to accomplish in WWE. Balor isn't the type of superstar to rest on his lord. How dare you? There we go. <laughs> Finn Balor lands God, that mat is... Oh, my God. That looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunn doing out here? Maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. That's the best you can give me? I couldn't get the bitter end? And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. Amazing. You hit me with a crossbody. Coup de gras. It's all over. 
Yes, it is. Savages. This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. Nope. Because I'm about to save the day. And I'm assuming once I face McIntyre, I'm about to play the home. I'm, I'm assuming this. Because I said it too. I said X is probably going to lose his match. And then I'm going to have to win my match. And the series is going to be tied two-piece. And then Red's going to have to defend the championship against Becky Lynch. Simple. I said that. If it is this, if it is the general manager attacking me again. What? How you sound? Oh, this girl is crazy. You should have been in a position to win the series against Becky Lynch. I'm sorry I let you down. I ask you good, man. It's, it's all love, baby. It's all love. You didn't. All that matters is we're still alive. Now I just need to beat Becky to even up the series, and then it's up to Trey to close it out. Wait, your match is net? Oh, okay. You got this. Then after that, well, you got this. So, okay, so I'm facing Becky next, and then after, wow, you leave it, you leave it up to me. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerves showing up in our locker room. All right, what the, what's popping? I'll go wherever the hell I want, especially since I'm about to be the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. You want to get duffed? Like, let me know. Who, who told you to come running up in, up in here? I guarantee I'm going to beat you and tie the series up. Simple. Okay, then what? Because even if you somehow manage that, then your friend Trey's going against my friend Drew in the final match. And we all know my friend's just a little bit tougher than yours. So like I said, one way or another, that championship's coming back where it belongs. If you're so confident, how about we get things started right now? Facts. Nah, nah, I need to go warm up first. Don't want to pull a muscle slapping your head off. First off, I'm better than Drew McIntyre because I actually am a former Universal Champion. That's right. I'm something Drew McIntyre can't even achieve. And I like Drew McIntyre. I didn't want to say that. I, I didn't want to say that. I did want to say that. But you forced my damn hand. Now let's get in the ring so I can cook you real quick. Benny Hanna style. Yeah. Fuck about it. My friend's a little tougher than you. No, 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 he's not. He's only tall. How tall is your McIntyre? He's what, 6'5", 6'6"? Six, six, six? Okay, we're the same height, technically, so... I. There's nothing about your McIntyre that he can't... He can't Drew McIntyre can't touch me. He can't touch me. The man out here. Pull a muscle slapping my head off? Girl, slap my head off. Don't knock your jaw clean off. Up out of here. Let's go. What the hell kind of gear is that? Is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. I didn't approve of this gear. I don't mind it. I didn't approve it. And here comes the man. Get your ass out here, man. Let's go. You was talking all this trash in my locker room. Come on, let's rock. We spoke earlier about a team's back being up against the wall. All right, so this is straight up. Red, as she faces Becky Lynch down 2-1 with the series in her championship. And she counters me. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making... Uh, ropes, ropes, son of a.
I could waste mad stamina. Out of the hole, and I don't know how. That was locked in pretty good. She scores big with the counter. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Is she counting me again? Oh, no, she's Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Three. I'm going to gain some stamina with that. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. I'm trying to gain my stamina back. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Strong arm to the mat. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, again! I mean, Becky again, Lynch may be slowing some here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Ooh, she got hit with the Mac. Reverses. Mm. Can she take advantage? Not no suplex. She counted it. Looks like <laughs> nobody's budging, Cole. God. German suplex. And why is Becky Lynch's momentum so damn high? Damn, she's been like seven moves and she already got a signature. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Electric. Oh, shit. The electric chair down for the drop. Becky Lynch is one of the hardest working competitors in sports entertainment. The unmasked determination and desire that burns inside the Irish last kicker makes her one of the top WWE superstars today. But many people would be surprised to learn her road to WWE. You gotta love this match. So many different things happening. Look out. Oh! Absolutely spiked. DDT. Her neck is broken. Picking up on something you said, Byron. Becky Lynch's path to WWE was far from conventional. Two. Becky went from a competitor on the independent scene to a stunt woman, a flight attendant, Three. and among other professions before she actually returned to sports entertainment. Now, yeah, let's remember, Cole, oh. Becky Lynch went to clown college, too. I didn't think Becky had to go to school to learn how to be a clown. It seems to be a natural gift for her. Dropped from above. She's gaining momentum here, guys. Yeah, she's able to tap into right, energy Should I hit the signature now, hands. or should I wait till she gets... I'm going to wait till her back is orange to hit the signature. I think that way it'd be easier. What the fuck was that? Just too fast. Lord, man, I dead aimed. Just what the what now. kind of aiming was that? Becky with a takedown, looking for the disorder. Can she cinch it in? My man, what are you talking about? <laughs> this man good? Uh oh. Phoenix oh, Splash. That was now, we can go for a signature. Go. She's got something. Get her up. Mind. She wants it one <laughs> more time. Standing Spanish. This could be it. Cover for the win. Two. Game. And there's your winner here in this singles match. If you're not feeling good about yourself after a win like that, you better get yourself checked. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. All right. Able to get that dub. It's up to me now to close it out. Drew, I need you to come in. It's about time to tussle, my brother.
Yes. Alright, what the hell is Trey wearing? Alright. Alright. Uh, any messages for me? I got two messages. Watching this series, hope you win to help Brad keep a title, not because then I can say I trained the current SmackDown Women's Champion. It's just because I like you too. But it's nice to advertise the train current. To it, It's nice to advertise I trained the current champ, just saying. So I'm trying to get money or shit. Hey man, you probably won't get this until after your match since I assume you're not checking your phone right now, but just in case you are, I wanted to wish you good luck against Drew McIntyre. Brooklyn put you and Red in a tough spot, but I know you can beat Drew and put an end to all this crap. You got this, Trey. Buzz, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for the love. Big E. I wanted to let you know the guys and I got together and decided that if you pull off the series win, we'll consider calling our team the new Trey like you suggested. Well, all right. All right. Really? That's awesome. Sure, I mean, we probably won't team up that often or ever again after this, but still, the offer stands. I'm cool with that. Oh, well, thanks. Go get him, champ. I will. Uh, why am I wearing this? <laughs> Are you happy? There's a chance I could lose my title without ever being pinned. If it makes you feel any better, Becky Lynch promised me that no one from her side will get involved in the final match. Who cares? Oh, she promised you. Then I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Where do they keep the popcorn around here? I don't normally put trash food in my body, but I think watching your team let you down is worth an exception. Can't stand her. Trigger. Trigger Trey. I'm not trying to make you nervous or anything, but... It's all come down to this. Match five against Drew McIntyre for the championship I've held for a record-setting two and a half years. Well, when you put it that way, there's definitely no pressure. Sorry, it's just hard not having control over what happens, but I know you can do this. Just treat it like any other regular match. Sure. I mean, that might be a little difficult with the giant stack of pancakes and grass-covered ramp, but I'll try my best. That's all I can ask. Well, let's do it. Let's get it. Final match. To determine if Red walks out SmackDown Women's Champion. This is all relying on my shoulders. Can I get the job done? You're damn right I can get it done. Let's do this. I should have turned the entrances off like a smart person. <laughs> I really... God, why, not? why didn't I not do that? Take me serious with the horn on my head. It's the Scottish badass who's this about to get his ass beat. We're getting red health. All right, so I don't even have to. Go. Trey got a pen. A lot of big matches throughout his career, but the professional and personal ramifications of this might be bigger than any other. Red may not talk to him for weeks if he's the reason her record-setting championship reign comes to an end. This might be putting undue responsibility on Trey since two of his teammates lost matches earlier tonight. However, I will agree he's facing immense pressure being in this winner-takes-all position. And what? I know I certainly wouldn't want to be in right now. 
He has become relentless at this point. He's known to have good stamina. See if he can sustain this effort. Whoop. Oh, the athletic ability. It's fair to say Drew's about to get this work up. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. He thought he, see, he thought I wasn't paying attention. Uh, springboard. Close line. Drew McIntyre faltering some. Oh, you know what's even better? It could still rally. I can springboard too. Drew McIntyre has worn his Scottish heritage as a true badge of honor during his time here in WWE. He takes great pride in having been the first Scottish oh, NXT quick, champion right? and even had the New York Police Department bagpipe band play into the ring at WrestleMania. Oh, I thought I counted that. Uh-oh. Oh, God. The oh. inverted Alabama slam. He might have been waiting on that one. Damn, Damn, that I've been missing that clothesline lately. Impressive, Michael. Yet another counter. There we go. Somehow one step ahead of each other. Taking a closer look at McIntyre's Scottish heritage. He truly has the appearance and attitude of a legendary Scottish warrior. He also oh. named his devastating oh. kick after oh. the chosen sword of oh. a Highlander, the Claymore. Honestly, I think if you get out my ring McIntyre back in time to the Scottish battlefield, he just disappeared to the fray. Totally at home. He is happy to be anywhere that there is fighting to be done. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Come in. And what a reversal from How the hell you count that so fast? Great. Oh god. Whoa! Oh my 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 guy. I can't do anything. Let me try this again. This is impressive. Well measured. Uh oh. It's about time for the most electrifying move in sports and entertainment Momentum. the people's standing moonsault. Ass down. What you, what you thought you was about to do? Incredible standing corkscrew moonsault. Wow. All right, got him. Uh, what we doing? On the strike. All right. Get up. Here we go. Trey and Drew trading blows. What a headbutt by Drew. Let me with the Glasgow kiss. Seen just about everything. DDT. Tonight. Cover. It's over. Wait a second. Is that what the is? hell? Samoa Joe. We haven't seen Samoa Joe in six or seven years since he was fired from WWE after a shocking loss to Trey for the Universal title. Well, apparently, he, he got fired for that. <laughs> Who gets fired for what that? What the heck is that? What the fuck? Wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. What the hell? This is shocking. I cannot believe Samoa Joe is back. What the hell is that? This time, I never thought we'd see him again, and he just broke Trey in half. But what the? What? What? What is this? Why does he have an, a, a robotic arm? Ref counted. <laughs> Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. It looks like Trey's gonna throw up. I don't blame him. Not only did he lose the series and Red's championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. What is that, bro? I'm back, and I'm coming for you. Stunned at what we've just witnessed, and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE. 
That's not even my problem. Bro, what the hell? What? 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 Why do you have a robotic arm for? <laughs> Obi explains why. To make me feel better, because I don't know what the hell to really think right now. But that was the end of the chapter, so I believe that was end of chapter 14. So now we're on chapter 15. Okay, so Samoa Joe got fired from WWE six or seven years ago because he lost the Universal title to me. How do you get fired for? Oh yeah, he did get fired. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot he got fired. Right. If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because. Our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious, Shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. WWE legends? Like who? Damn, I wish I had a break. I don't think I'm going to have one. I know this video's probably going on long. Uh, oh, well. Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk. Hey, hey Kurt back. Angle. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun. Can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking. Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, file the trademark? Security! Wait. <laughs> Maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart. And I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either, so it should be a competitive match. Good luck. Wow. And of course I don't get a break. Oh, man. So Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle, right? I'm playing this? Here comes the Olympic gold medalist. In a suit?
Why are he? Why is he wrestling in a suit? Maybe wow. the most dangerous man in WWE. And his opponent from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe was the first man to win the NXT Championship twice. He won the very first Dusty Classic in NXT. And I think we're in store for another first here tonight. Multi time NXT. All right, I don't, I don't. This is a match I never expected to see tonight. Well, first off, before we get any further, I'm about to cut this video short because I know this video is probably going on long. Uh, but we're going to be right back with this weird match that I'm about to do. So, till next time, we'll be right back. Peace, love, one. Here.